What is up, guys? Yellow here for more pack crackers. I have another pack, actually another 10 packs of Strixhaven ready to open. So let's drop open 10 pack drop open. I don't know what that means. We have Tendrils of Agony. Target player lose two life. You gain two life. Storm it up. My first ever compulsive research. Target player draws three cards, then that player draw discards two cards, unless they discard land card very well. We have some basic, very basic, like level one basic ass conjuration here. This guy, look at him. He's, he thinks he's happy, or she, or it, or whatever, uh, but super basic. Anyway, uh, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put it into your hand. Put the less on the bottom. The less, the rest. On the bottom of your library in the random order you gain a three entire life you have a retriever phoenix retrieving the phoenix uh two two flying haste when it is a battlefield if you cast it learn get learnt as long as it's in your gravy uh if you would learn you may instead return this to the battlefield we have valentin dean of the vein uh it is a vampire warlock one one with menacing lifelink almost said vigilance neither of those words are there Vigilance, that is, those two words. Uh, if non-creature token and opponent controls would die, exile instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one black green pesty pest. Then we have Lizette, Dean of the Root. Whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control, and those creatures gain tr trampled on the turn. Very well. And it got me a bit of sign and blood. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. Then, a Sparring Regimen. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, learn. Whenever you attack, put a 1-1 counter on target attacking creature and untap it. It's an enchantment, so that's cool. You can use that every turn. As long as it stays out there, I guess. Academic Probation. Uh, it's a lesson. You choose one. Either choose a non-land card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Or choose target non-land permanent. Until your next turn, it can attack the block, and its activated abilities cannot be activated. Then I got two first ever mythics. I got Galazeth Prismari, two a blue and a red for three four Elder Dragon. Uh, has flying when it enters the battlefield, but create a treasure token. And artifacts you control have pay one, pay well no 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 no. no, 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 no Tap it and add one mana of any color. So this mana only cast an instant sorcery spell. So this is cool because this will give you your artifacts. You don't even you don't have to sacrifice the uh, the treasure. You can just get mana for it. Then we got Hoffrey Ghost Forge three a oh, red and oh, microphone fell down. Oopsies. Uh, three a red and a white for a dwarf cleric legendary four five spirit to control get one one and have trample and haste. Whenever another target co non do whenever another non-token creature you control dies, exile it. I, 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 I talked it too fast. If you do create a token that's copy of that creature, except it's oops, it's a spirit in addition to its other types and has when this creature leaves the battlefield, return the exile card to its owner's gravy. Gravy is a new name for graveyard, by the way. Start using it. Do it now. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna do for today. That was, that was a quick. T that was a quick ten rares. Got two mythics, two brand spanking new mythics. At least for me, not really new in the sense of the game, but new for me. It's new to me, guys. Okay, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll keep on cracking later.